Hi guys, it's Tammy here. Thanks for joining on this video. I have a great vision for you that I want to share with you, but I also want to share something very beautiful. My beautiful roses. I mean, they're just amazing. Uh, I mean, look how huge they are. That's the size of my hand. Oh, I'm trying to hold this and hold that. Just amazing, just amazing. Uh, and they smell so good. So, um, but also look at look at those big thorns on there. So, with something good, there's there can be something bad too. So roses are beautiful. Got to look out for the thorns. And um, I'm just gonna come over here. I got a bunch of these other nice roses growing up here. A little bit shorter right here. Okay. Just want to share that with you. There's lots of beauty. A lot of beauty. And um, let's go right over here. So um, this, this vision that I got, guys, first I want to say, if you don't mind subscribing and liking to the video or a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that would be great. And um, so this vision is, I got it on June 7th, 2023, in the wee hours of the morning. Um, vision, dream, sometimes you don't know if you're dreaming or if it's a, a vision. Um, so what, what was going on is there was, there was destruction going on. So I had to flee from my home and there was, you know, a war and complete destruction and everybody was fleeing. They were just taking off. It was very scary. And um, then as everybody was fleeing, I, I happened to uh, join, you know, in the running and hiding with this man. I had never met him before. I don't know his name or anything. Well, I didn't know his name. And we were just running, running. And then up ahead, a huge tornado was coming. And I mean, it, the funnel of it, the base of it was so massive. And, you know, it was very scary. So I said, we got to go back, got to go back. And the person says, there's nothing to go back to because we go back there, we're going to get killed. But yet if we go forward or stay there, we're going to get killed because this tornado was going to take out everything. So um, I'm outside, sorry, there's going to be a couple cars going by. <laughs> And um, so it was it was um, a terrifying moment because you can't go back, you can't go forward, you just knew you're gonna die. So you knew you just had to surrender your life and it, it was a difficult moment, this tornado coming. And um, right at just a couple seconds or right when the tornado hit, my spirit lifted from my body. Now I had another vision like this before where there was a war going on and my spirit lifted out and I could see what was happening. I, I, I didn't feel any pain or suffering because my spirit had already left my body. So this same type of vision happened. I, my, my spirit lifted out and I saw myself and this person die in this tornado. We got, you know, sucked into this tornado. Right at that second, um, there was like a flash. I'd almost like to say it was sort of like a lightning. There was like a like a couple of flashes of light, like the most bright, strong type of light, not just like a flash of lightning, but it was like the entire vision, um, my vision flashed. And it was, I feel like it was a, a couple of flashes. And next thing you know, here I am sitting in the most beautiful place, most peaceful place. I'm sitting on the ground and there's little children sitting in front of me. And I realized I was in heaven and it was so peaceful, calm, and serene, and I felt comfortable there. I knew this was my home, and then Jesus appeared. He's standing in front of me, and I felt very comfortable, like I already knew him, and, and I was home, and I wasn't like, you know, saying, oh my gosh, I made it to heaven. Oh, wow. I knew I belonged there, and I, I felt very comfortable, um, and I knew that, you know, I felt very comfortable uh, with Jesus there. And um, I hope I have enough space. I got to keep going here. And what I said was, did the man, the man that I was with, did he make it? And Jesus said, yes, he's already been here for a while. Then I saw a vision of a headstone and it said, William Stoddard, 1887. And that must have been the year he passed away, I'm assuming. 
And then I was downloaded with, he was sent to me to comfort me and to um, get me through that time. So I think I'm going to run out of space here. But I know a lot of people are going to say, it doesn't say in the Bible that humans are sent down to comfort us or anything like that. And I'm just sharing this vision with you. But I, I believe that this can happen. And I don't know this person, 